we're gonna do a lot of basic stuff. I'm just gonna show you just a couple really quick drills just to help you with your practices, move them a little faster, um, help the kids out, just so that way you can get a little bit more. Um, with practice, especially with a lot of little guys, it's lot, it's hard to keep them all focused. So yeah. I try to do a lot of things where it's a we're in a line, but we're moving, constantly moving, constantly moving. Or we have three different groups. If you have a lot of different coaches, you could have two different groups going at the same time, but we're always moving. Um, when we warm up, I know a lot of these guys, some of them don't even know how to um, throw a catch right now, so I'll show you a couple of different drills we can use for that. Um, as far as catching, we're gonna, as far as baseball goes, we have so many different baseballs. Real baseballs, b-balls, tennis balls, mini whip balls, big whip balls. Don't be afraid to use, not don't use baseballs. <laughs> yeah. These yeah. all day long. Yeah. I use these with 12 year olds all day long. All day, no glove. Okay, so with little guys, if they're, before we get into catching, I mean throwing, we'll get into catching first. With the little guys, I use a lot of these different, and mix them up, like I have a whole bucket right here, and they're just mixed up different. So what we'll do first is we'll have them about this distance apart, and we'll have them right here, and all we'll do is just toss them the ball, and then just have them, I call it patty cake. Just play, just okay. hit the ball back to you. Just yeah. back and forth. But have them, I tell them, glove behind their, I'm nose behind their gloves. So I want them to actually move their yeah. body, like sway their hips. Have them sway, so just hit, hit, you just move it back and forth four or five times. The next I go, four or five times. Or when they get good, you could have them partner up with each other, just hit it back to each other. After they start doing that, then they could start grabbing the ball. If you have younger kids that have a habit of when that ball comes towards their face, they back up yeah. and they move like that. What you can do is I get these little balls, have a coach. Can you help me out with this? Sure. Just have a coach stand right above me like this. Have the kid lay down right on the side. Have the kid lay down like this, stand on top, and then just right on my chest, though, not his face first, right on his chest, and just drop and catch. Huh. He has no way to move, he has nowhere to go. He can't go anywhere, he can't back up, and he has to see that ball. Yeah. Start at his chest, and then slowly work his way to his face. And tell them, you're not, your body is not gonna allow you to let that ball hit you in your face. Your hand's gonna move, your hand's gonna do something to stop it from hitting you in the face. And that's just getting them comfortable with something coming at them. Yeah. After that, when they start learning how to play catch, you can sit, well, before we start throwing to each other, I have them go about this distance, and I have them sit on their butts first. And I also just have them nice and easy throw. For one, this is gonna keep them from going too long with their arm, so they get used to just nice and relaxed right here, and they're not going too long, or they also hit the ground. But then they're not throwing hard. They're just lobbing at each other nice and relaxed. And start with these, if you want. Don't start with baseball, start with okay. everything with these with these balls to keep them from being scared of it. Um, once we start, bat and then don't go very far. This is about as far as I go with little guys. And I just have them start like this at the farthest. and just have them go one, two, three, and then just have them follow the throw. When you do that, tell them to separate, nice and easy separation here. And then don't tell them anything about the back foot. What we'll all tell them is don't forget the back foot. We'll bring So then they'll start doing this and they'll forget about anything. So don't tell them the back foot, tell them balance on the front foot. So go one, two, three, and then they'll start thinking about balancing and then that back foot will just come. But they won't be thinking about that back foot, they'll just balance on that front foot. That's all the punch straight on. And that will help them with that back foot coming along. Um, after that, we'll go into some outfield drills. Anybody about throwing, any questions about throwing, catching, teaching any of that stuff? Pretty simple, right? Okay, with um, outfield drills, we'll go into ground balls first I go into ground balls first because I know we want to all catch the ball we'll get to catching the ball but that gets really easy fielding a ground ball in the outfield is one of the hardest things to teach any kids even to high school that's the biggest errors they make in the outfield is picking up a ground a ball off the ground for some reason that is their biggest because they want to make that throw right away mm -hmm. so this becomes a big trap for them so I just start everything I start work is, is footwork so they're just gonna start here. You have them chop their feet, you have a line, and this can go as far as you want. You can go three, four, five, you can go up to 10. I don't, here, and all they're gonna do is just attack that ball. Boom, and what you wanna see is head down, you should see the knob, and this side in front. A lot of these kids are gonna do this, come in front. The reason why we do this, because I want them to feel balanced when they stop. Here, come back to this cone, chop feet. Next, chop feet. Next. 
And one of the main things that we're working on is seeing the wave with how they stop. They're gonna come here and they're gonna to wanna to follow all over like that. We wanna teach them that we wanna go fast to the ball, but then slow down at the last second. So we go fast and then stop and then slow down. Um, we do that over and over and over again. It's all about the footwork. Like I said, you can put this back so you can go back on angles, ball, back in angles, ball. So you can start here with the cone and have them go back. See the ball, you can have them get around the ball to come through. However you want to do, you can just mix up this drill over and over again. When we teach pop flies, the first thing I teach is the one on the ground laying down. Then I teach, then I go into the little patty cake drill. And then what I tell them to do is try to see the top of the ball when I start throwing them the ball. So I have them just stand like right there and I just toss them nice easy tosses like that. And I tell them to try to see the top of the ball. If they try to see the top of the ball, they're gonna get behind the ball. A lot of them wanna see under the ball, so they all do this, under. We don't want them to go under. We wanna try to see the top of the ball so they're gonna stay back a little bit and then walk through. So as soon as they get used to you tossing in front of them, then you can get them on the side. Can I help your assistance again one more time? Then what you can do is, you can stand right here. You, all you do is just stand right there. You're, you're, the kids stand right here, you're just gonna throw it straight up in the air and he's just gonna walk forward. That's all he does, over and over and over and over. Just learning how to catch, walking forward. That's it, no glove, you can do this, especially the mini ones, because the little guys have smaller hands, that's good, thank you. They have smaller hands, so I use these a lot. Not only that, but if they could catch this, these get a lot easier. Um, and then after that, after they're used to walking through, if you want, you can put them in a big circle, so I could have one group, big circle, another coach doing footwork there, and I have mini whip balls, I'm just over and over and over and over. They get a lot of reps, a lot of um, um, experience doing ground balls, and on pop flies and then eventually you begin to actually just rolling them ground balls just over and over and over again any questions with the outfield stuff anything any concerns nothing okay let's go infield stuff <laughs>